Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today, a bit of a different video. It's not your normal um, model farm video. It's to do with that, but you can see, oh, we have a little parcel delivered. So, um, I ordered, I believe, two models from Carpet Farmer right there. Again, very good website. If you need anything, um, they sell a fair few rear models, um, which I did buy one of them. I bought one fairly rear model that is quite hard to come come across. Um, you can find them on eBay, but they're going well over a hundred quid um, because people are wanting them. So yeah, um, I ordered this a few days back, I believe, over the weekend. Um, and I thought I wouldn't get it for a long, long time because of uh, the Brexit that's going on. I know uh, Stephen there over at Model Farmer 6710 had a bit of trouble uh, with brushwood shipping out to Ireland. So um, I didn't have a really email that I had been shipped. I only had the confirmation and processed email. Um, so I didn't have an email that was shipped and when it was due to be delivered. It just... Yeah, so I was thinking, oh, I'm probably not going to have it for another few weeks, but came today a lot sooner than I thought, and I've actually ordered another model um, that could be due to come today or even tomorrow, um, which I'm recording this on a Friday. So, again, Carpet Farmer, go check them out if you need anything. They sell um, quite a few nice models. I think I've bought a few things off them in the past. Um, I can't remember what I bought off them now. I'm trying to think. It was that man or two. I think it was that. No, I got that from Northwest. What did I get from Carpet Farmer then? I think it could have been the Merlot. I think I got the Merlot from Carpet Farmer. Anyway, tripod's a bit small, but we're going to crack open into this box here. So a bit of an inboxing. This is my first inboxing that I've done. So you can see up there. So it's my first inboxing quite exciting to be honest if you guys want more of these inboxings do let me know and uh, obviously it's going to be hard to do one every week but obviously i'll try and do as often as i can um as i said i've got another parcel on the way so there'll be another inboxing as well but let me know if you guys enjoy these type of inboxings i'm not sure what type of model farm extra model farm content you guys want got the trusty uh pocket knife here with a bit of a sharpen so these are two um, models that you probably wouldn't expect me to get but anyway I did get them um, this was also the last model in there um, fun fact oh, because a lot of them are sold out they were sold out on brushwood they were sold out on northwest and also I bought the last one on Carpet Farmer, so I was like, before these start going a bit rare, I think I'll cop them, because all of a sudden they were going out of stock in there everywhere, so this is the first model, and obviously it's got a bit of a bubble wrap, all this handy got a bit of bubble wrap, twist it down there, just out of there, this is the first model. As I said, I ordered two, and as you can probably tell, she's a blue, she is a blue. So that is the first one. As you can see, uh, so the first model, I really like this. I used to have a similar TM, a similar tractor to a TM not long ago i used to have like an 8560 or an 8360 or something like that um which was very similar to a tm but she wasn't a tm obviously so i told myself i was going to get one of these before they were going to go rear but they started going rear very all of a sudden so you know what i picked her up sooner than i thought but as i said i've spent quite a bit of money recently now uh, i've bought another model as well that's meant to come as i said today tomorrow but there she is. I like the box as well. It's in the nice New Holland replica agri box. New Holland TM140. 
Um, very nice tractor. Looks very smart. And as I said, I was hinting a little bit in one of the latest videos, um, saying there was a tractor on the way replacing the Renault 981, which is in there. And yes, this tractor's probably gonna be replacing her. And I said, she'd be a good hedge cutting tractor or something like that. Uh, I said something along those lines. And a lot of people are thinking it was a Massey. Um, God knows makes, but a lot of people didn't guess it was this. And it has a proper little uh, linkage on as well that'll fit perfectly on her. So it'll probably be her. Um, good little fit for her as well. So we'll crack on to the next model. You'll see, I know a lot of you guys want to know what this next one is. And you can probably see by the box, <laughs> it is another New Orleans. It is another New Orleans, so. A lot of you guys may think, what am I am I feeling all right? Because a lot of you guys know I'm not a big fan of New Orleans. My two big main brands are John Deere and Massey Ferguson. Those are my two favorite brands. And you may say, you don't really have that many Massey Ferguson or John Deere tractors. You have a bit of everything. I have two Masseys, the 3120 and the 398, the 7436125R7610. Um, and also I have two Fords and two Renaults, so nearly two of everything. So as I said, I bought two New Hollands. Now, the reason I bought this one was, as I was saying, this one's quite a rare model already. Oh my God. Oh yeah. She is nice. So as you can see, um, she is a New Holland T6145 with loader. Now, you may wonder, well, there's still a few of them about, and you're right, there is. But this tractor reminds me a lot of the 6020 by Unos Lobbies. I used to have one of them. I used to have a 6020, and they, here's proof that I did have one. Now, a lot of people say, and that's what you always say, well, there's proof. <laughs> there's not much proof, I know. But there's a bit of proof. Um, those are the tyres and rims of the New Holland 6020 by Universal Hobbies. Now, those have also gone rare. Not many of them about. I was looking for one of them, but there was literally none about. And if there was, there was maybe one or two, but they were really, really expensive. This is the closest thing I could get to a 6020 just because she has the same rims and tyres, as you can see, same front rims, obviously it's missing the front hub, but, and it, it has a loader as well. Um, well, the 6020 that I had, she had a, bl a black loader. Uh, she didn't have a blue loader, she had a black. I believe there was some with blue loaders, but the one I had was black. Um, and yeah. That was the 6020 I had. Sorry, I know it's a bit silly, it's not much proof, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, I bought two New Holland tractors. Now, you may say, Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling perfectly fine. Um, but as I said, the main reason I bought these two was because I wanted a few New Hollands. Um, I'm not sure about the T6, whether she'll be going on the display quite yet. Uh, I might be keeping her in the box for the time being um, for upcoming projects. I won't say much more. I've hinted in the past. Um, but I'd assume the TM is going to be on the farm. Um, replacing the Renault 981. But yeah, as I said, two new Holland tractors that I've bought now. Um two very nice tractors as well um but yeah so the t6145 obviously she's the closest thing to a 6020 i could get very nice tractor i have to say um so i've got three new hollands now i believe um i got the t6175 i think um silver jubilee or something jubilee and then i've got these two as well so, as I said, if you guys want more inboxing videos, do drop a like. Comment down below as well if you guys want more inboxing videos. 
do let me know and as I said I was a bit worried about these not arriving for a long long time but I'm really really glad I believe there's what those at the time of ordering there was two left and I got so obviously now there's only one left of the T6 and I believe there was none left of the TMs so there you go guys two models added to the collection of course let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think also comment down below if you guys want to see more unboxing videos um obviously there won't be unboxing videos quite consistent because obviously i can't you know it's it's an expensive hobby model farming is and collecting and everything like that i try to do a bit of everything collecting and the diorama and stuff obviously but it's a very very expensive hobby so do let me know if you guys want more unboxing videos and i will try and do them as often as i can of different stuff and whatnot and guys hopefully you guys like what i bought obviously some people may think i'm a bit ill buying new hollands but i could be a tad bit ill but they're definitely two great little models now and i'm very happy with i'm happy that i bought them um and it was quite a steal to be honest this t6 i believe was only 45 pound i think she was 45 pound on carpet farmer again on ebay they're going over a hundred pound um on ebay so they get they're, they're definitely getting there's something getting rare about them so happy i picked up one of them and also the tm so yeah guys thanks for watching and the next inboxing video um you will see is also another rare model that i've copped uh which i'm very very happy of that i've bought one of them as well so stay tuned for that that will be another inboxing video coming soon to you guys guys if you are new to the youtube channel please hit that subscribe button leave a like comment down below what you guys think and should i do more inboxing videos and let me know what you guys think of these two tractors and what one is your favorite guys thanks for watching hit that notification bell as well so you get notified as soon as i upload a video and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now guys yeah.